Hi guys, welcome back to Manga Sunday. Let's just jump right into the summary. There is war happening in the city of Lavana. The Song of Theater, Chapter 158. Summary by Lambimation. Near the castle of Lavana. Sian is coughing because of the cold weather. They are having a meeting in the military camp, and Lyle tells Sian to rest. Lyle is being scared to be scolded by Neotis of not taking good care of the princess. Sian smiled in reply while he's busy taking care of the king and Tazia that's injured, so no one will notice and how's the soldiers because they traveled for a long journey to the northeast continent half of the soldiers are sick the Vanya soldiers are laughing at the prince's soldiers ooh weak soldiers from the prince's side and they're mocking them you know why the Vanya is called the icy castle. It's because of the cold weather. It's hard to attack and easy to defense. They're just laughing at the soldiers from the south that are scared by the coldness from Lavonia. That's the icy castle city of Lavonia. On the other side, Keith and the soldiers are having a meeting. They reported that Lavonia is hard to attack and easy to defense. The food can help the citizens and the soldiers for totally a year. So Erlen will not be opening the gates and fighting. They'll be staying inside and defense. If they want to take back Lavonia before the snowstorm, they need to attack. Sienna said, wait, but the citizens in Lavonia are Western Empire citizens. If attack by force and destroy the castle, they might be harmed. The soldier said, Oh, princess, no, the supervisor of Lord Keith, he should say. She is a great leader in the Chalik's army and had a lot of great contribution. But now they're in the northern continent and they know better. One of the soldiers also bragged he know which female wolf growl louder. And Keith and other soldiers are laughing at his weird hobby. Sienna slab the table. Talking about weird hobbies and fetish during the meeting. That's what the Northern Army do This is a military meeting, not a chit chat. The situation is different from Eternal City, although she's the supervisor of Lord Keith, but mostly the army are Keith's ally. and half of her soldiers are sick. This is all in Keith's calculation. And now her force and power are weakened. Keith replied, 
Your Highness, please don't be mad. The soldiers didn't have much education. It didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. But you need to remember, the princess came here to help them win, but not trying to restrain them and make them lose. The princess just need to observe from beside and they will fight the battle. Sienna slapped off his hand and replied, she is the supervisor and she cannot let them kill citizens and not do anything. Keith said, the Northern Continents War are very dangerous and evil. It's not about who say so. And a girl like you is easily eaten by wolves at night. And you won't even see the corpse in the morning. He is trying to squeeze her neck and suffocate her. Sienna has no strength. She's calling Lyle. Lyle went in and fight with the soldiers. She's coughing. His supporters are supporting Keith, saying that such stupid princess. She thought she could control the situation. And it's Keith's playground. He can kill her easily. Sienna noticed that Keith not just wants to weaken her force. His goal in here is to kill her. There's a report that Northern lights are outside. And no, it's not Northern Light. It's a green flag. The Eastern Empire army arrived. And Saga army. Keep this shocked. Why are they here? Just in time to stop his plan. It's Naya and Lazio. And they're finally going to meet. Sienna, here I am. That's the end.